What's good fam? It's Asia and today I'm back with a new video. So it's been a long time but it's about that time that I bring back Makeup and Motivation. If you're new to my channel, Makeup and Motivation is when I do a makeup look and incorporate things that I've learned or things that I feel like God is giving me to say. Thing is, I stopped doing Makeup and Motivation about 8 months ago and that's on me. I just took in some of the world's perspectives on what it means to be a beauty influencer. I allowed that to stop me from doing what I felt called to do. So I'm back at it. I've allowed God to redirect me and today I'm going to be talking about bitterness. So before we get into that, I'm gonna share with you the palette that I'm going to be using for today's look. It's my Javius Place Afric palette and I've got this from Ulta and I have yet to open it. I have yet to try it. So it'll be really fun to play with it with you guys while I share a little bit about my life and what's been going on. I've already done my brows. I use my Maybelline Tattoo Studio. So the first thing that I'm going to do is prime my eyes and also carve out my brows. I'm gonna carve out my brows using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I'm going to prime my eyelid with my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. Okay, so this whole experience with overcoming bitterness actually started for me back in July. My sister was coming to visit. I didn't really know how to feel about it because me and her, we hadn't really been talking consistently for a while. I really missed her, but I had some hard feelings and kind of sadness and hurt and bitterness because I felt lied to. It was hurtful and so I had been praying about it just that God would help me um, to change my perspectives about the guy that she's dating and also just to help me to just be loving and be Christ-like while they were here because the thought of them coming it just gave me like a level of anxiety and it made me very uncomfortable to think about. Um, in my quiet time God was leading me to pray and he actually reminded me of this prayer that I received years ago like I got this prayer back in like 2013 so I'm using the shade C1 in the Makeup Revolution uh, concealer as well just to let you guys know so I like to buff this out also like when priming my eyelids I like to buff it out with a fluffy brush like so I feel like this is the perfect brush to fluff it out so I like to pat it like this and just make sure to really remove the discoloration from my eyelid. So like I was saying, I went to this conference and at the conference there was this woman who God had given her a bunch of prophetic words and like she wrote them down on little pieces of paper. Everybody got, you know, a personal letter that she wrote inspired by God and so my first one was really good a letter from God and I actually have it on my dream board maybe I'll share it with you guys in another video it was really encouraging to read so I was like okay I want another one because there was two bags the first bag was filled with white pieces of paper and the white pieces of paper were like letters and then the second bag was filled with prayers and so I took one of the little green pieces of paper with prayers on them and I was like cool now I have one of each but when I read that one it wasn't as like feel goody as the first one like the first one was like God saying that he loves me and all this stuff and the second one was like a prayer like calling out sin and like casting it down and I was just like whoa <laughs> I ain't ready for that one you know I kind of like tucked it in the back of my journal like I'm good on that like that's not what I thought that was gonna say next I'm going to take my Afrique palette by Juvia's Place I'm going with this color right here which is Cameroon so because I didn't like you know exactly how that sounded I was just like you know what I am definitely gonna hide this in the back of my journal I kind of didn't revisit it at all I'm gonna just pat this color on Focusing it on my crease because with this Makeup Revolution concealer, it will crease up on you. So what I'm just doing is I'm just applying it. It's just it's not gonna look perfect. We're not blending. We're just placing the color, but that's just the focus for now. Just to place the color on top of the concealer. So for five years, that prayer literally sat in my journal, 
and I don't really believe in coincidences so I knew that that prayer was for me I just didn't see how it applied at the time now I'm gonna begin to take this brush and just do circular motions to blend out this color five years later here I am really struggling with bitterness hurt not really knowing how to reconcile the relationship with my sister and how to like really enjoy the time that I would have with her coming up that's when God reminded me of the prayer and he gave me very specific instructions I was to pray the prayer every day while they were here and also you know to pray the prayer in times when I really was struggling so that is exactly what I did I prayed the prayer every time that I felt any type of anger or hurt bitterness uncomfort and the first day that they were here I was so uncomfortable whoa and I was just like continuing to pray and just tr doing my best to love them you know to be kind and you know just love them like Christ loves all right so I have this color blended out so I'm gonna like smooth this out with the color Kessy which is this shade right here and I'm just gonna put it on this top portion to kind of blend this out to make it fade some so I'm gonna take my concealer brush and I'm just gonna go on top of it like maybe that'll help it out some for whatever reason it's just a little too harsh for me on these edges okay that's good enough that's a good like starting point now I'm gonna switch over to this small brush right here I'm gonna take this shade right here which is Bintao or Bintu and I'm gonna focus this on my outer V I would just continue to pray every day and I felt like every day I kind of faced a different aspect of the prayer so I'll go ahead and share the prayer with you guys just so that you know what I'm talking about I speak to mistrust unforgiveness anger disappointment fear and self-protection I say I renounce any agreement with you be removed and cast into the sea I thank you Lord that I am forgiven and I choose to love others as you love them okay so I carved out my eye shape now I'm gonna go in with my fluffy brush that I had earlier this one and I'm gonna take Cameroon and just work that blend out this purplish shade and I'm just focusing on the edge so I can really blend that purple shade out. So every day I literally felt like I was facing a different aspect of it. I had to deal with my trust issues, you know, I didn't really trust my sister. So I just was just like really having to pray against that mistrust. I was also having to pray against disappointment because I was disappointed in the fact that I felt like my sister and I didn't have as good of a relationship and I felt like it was because of this guy, you know? And the prayer, the first day, it kind of just felt like, oh, okay, like I'm saying a prayer, you know? But every day, I could feel God working on my heart and just working on the situation because I started to feel better and I started to feel more comfortable and I noticed that you know, everybody else started to feel more comfortable. God was creating a comfortable atmosphere in my home and everybody was kind of just really just enjoying our time with each other. I really believe that had I not prayed that prayer that it would have been a totally different experience. Once they left, like I literally thought that the work was done and it clearly wasn't <laughs> at all. I still felt led to say the prayer and I was talking to my husband about it and he just like yeah you know you never stop growing when God is maturing you. you you never like just get to stop dying to your flesh like this is a daily thing you're always gonna have to die to your flesh and essentially that's what that prayer is about it's about dying to your flesh and it's something that I realized that hey I'm gonna have to pray this a lot every day I mean shoot I had to pray it today at the grocery store because I got mad at my husband for something stupid I don't even remember what it was but I was upset and I was just like you know what this is anger right now this is anger and I have to renounce agreement with anger you can't allow yourself to just flow in things that aren't of God you really have to take control and just be like I do not agree with this I rebuke it and God I just ask for your forgiveness I thank you for your forgiveness and let's move forward like let's let's keep it pushing let's keep it going like that's a mature way to look at it not allowing yourself to really be guilt feel guilty or get caught up in your emotions no cast that junk 
out, cast it down, and keep it moving, keep it pushing. So while I was talking, I showed you guys what I used to cut this crease and showed you how I cut the crease. And now we're going to go in with one of these eyeshadow shader brushes. And we're going to take the color Niger and just apply that all over the lid. For this color, I'm using patting motions. I'm patting it into that concealer. I'm just doing my best to get a really even application of color. And I'm also going to push a little bit around the line where my cut crease is to help darken the crease a little. Not a lot, but when that color blends in with the reds and the purples, it creates more of like a blackish tone and it's going to really help to give a little more depth and definition to the crease. Through prayer, God was able to, re to mend my relationship with my sister and to help me to forgive, walk in love, just to be merciful in general to people because I'm not perfect, they're not perfect, and sometimes it's easy as believers to really get caught up in what people do or how they're sinning or whatever and not think about what we're called to do which is walk in love, walk in forgiveness. You don't want to make people feel good about sinning but at the same time you just kind of have to be accountable for yourself, be accountable for your own actions and make sure that you're walking in, according to God, in accordance to God's will. I'm going to take this small blending brush and go back in with Bintu, that burgundy color, and I'm going to lightly blend out that green that I just added in just to make it less harsh here and to bring back that burgundy color. So now that we did that, we're going to go in with our eyeshadow brush again, girl, and we're going to take this color Togo and we're going to apply that on the lid as well. As women of God, like it is our calling to make sure that we're actively participating in our salvation. Um, really make sure that we are casting down things that God has called us to cast down. We can't be passive. We can't be passive about our salvation, you know? And so I really thank God for this prayer and just for challenging me to be a person that dies to my flesh and, you know, just stay submitted to God. I really like that. I think that is so pretty. So I'm focusing this shimmer shade really on that outer corner, the part where the green is meeting the um, reddish colors. And I think it's helping everything just to come together really nicely. With, you know, bitterness, with pretty much anything, like you can't take the world's perspective on things. Because at first, I was looking at the situation with my sister like, well, I deserve to be mad because I've been lied to. But that whole perspective and thought process of thinking was not biblical. You can't take the world's perspectives and apply that to your Christian walk. Whether that comes with you getting upset about something, you feeling betrayed, you feeling played, whatever the case may be, you can't apply the world's logic the world's perspective to your walk with Christ. I did that when it came to my sister. Thank God that he five years ago was like I'm going to equip you with the tools that you need to overcome that and I was able to be walking obedience and gain freedom from a lot of the things that I was facing in the same way with this make a motivation. Like I had to get to the point to where I accepted what God was showing me like hey Asia, you're taking on the world's perspectives about your YouTube channel about yourself as a as a beauty influencer and you need to let it go come back to me come back to my perspective on what you do and it's hard it's a slippery slope because we're constantly interacting with the world and being told things by people in the world and people who've been in similar situations but if it's not based off the Bible it can't be our source of truth it can't be the way that we operate and it can't be the way that we move. We have to make sure that whatever we're doing is in alignment with God's word. And if it's not in alignment with God's word, then we just got to chuck the deuces on it and be like, I just can't. I can't. This stippling brush is bomb, girl. I love using this to apply my foundation. And I've actually wore this NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation a few times over the past couple of days. And uh, it just 
settles into the skin so nicely. So now I'm going to conceal and I love to use my NARS Radiant Concealer so that's what I'm going to use and I'm also going to use my Beauty Blender that I got from Shop Miss A for a dollar girl. It is a nice little beauty blender so um, I'm going to use rolling motions to work this into my skin. And I'm also doing a little bit of reverse contouring as well. The lies that we believe sometimes are so ridiculous. You know, like looking back at how I was thinking about my makeup and motivation videos. Number one, I didn't really realize what God was trying to do. And number two, like my whole thought process about it was just so wrong. I thought that they were going to hinder me as a blogger, you know. And it's so shameful to say, but I did. I thought that they would hinder my opportunities. But with my same thoughts, I was trusting God for my opportunities. Well, I thought I was. But how, how am I trusting God for my opportunities when I feel like something that he's called me to do is going to hinder me? It's no way. It's no way that I'm doing that, you know? In the same sense, how are we going to call ourselves loving Christians, but we can't forgive, but we can't let go of anger, we're walking around holding on to bitterness. I'm taking my benign, my benign banana powder, and I'm just going to set underneath my eyes. I like to do this to help brighten a little more, and it does a really great job. I love this. I'm going to set it here and I also like to bring it up on my nose as well for that, you know, reverse contour thing going on. So I like to bring it up here so this top portion can be nice and snatched. How can we say that we love God? How can we say that, you know, we are in a relationship with Christ but we can't forgive people for what they've done? We can't let go of anger. We can't let go of bitterness. We're too busy trying to protect ourselves to you know let go of uh, the walls that we've built up it's not okay guys and we have to let go of those things and allow god to shape us and reform us to love like jesus did i mean he gave up his life for us if he was so focused on like self-protection he wouldn't have went on the cross you know like we can't be so caught up in ourselves that we're not willing to give ourselves we're not willing to be vulnerable we're not willing to allow God to use us in ways that he wants to that's what the prayer God gave me is about at the end of this video I am gonna pray it with you guys but just so you know I have it written fully in the description box I also have it pinned as the number one comment on this uh, video so that way you guys can reference it and write it down and just keep it for yourselves because I really think that this can help anyone. So what I did, girl, is I reverse contoured with this banana powder. I'm just gonna let that sit for a second, not too long. And I love to use my Laura Mercier powder. And really, you don't need a powder with this foundation, but I like to use a powder just for that extra layer of whateverness. Now that we have that all together, I'm going to take this brush right here and I'm just going to sweep off all the excess powder from my face. Now I'm going to spray my face with this Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. I actually got this tip from Alyssa Ashley, but basically you spray your face, then you take your beauty blender and you just press it into your skin. Okay. So the bang can come back down. But now it's time to go back to the eyes, honey. So I love to use this type of a brush for my lower lash line. I feel like this gets up in there really, really good. And I want to actually take Aya, this yellowish color, and I want to put her in the lower lash line. I think that would be nice and different to see a pop of color at the bottom. She's not as pigmented as I would like her to be, to be honest with you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in with my concealer. I'm just going to put a little bit on my lower lash line first and then put the yellow on top of that so it can really pop down there. I'm just going to do that kind of yellow eyeliner look here at the bottom. Okay, so that's that. We also need an inner corner highlight. I'm going to go in with Kofi, which is this nice little gold little color. Oh, psych. Alright, let's spray this brush and uh, try again. So for the first time, I actually feel like I want to skip liner, which is not normal for me. 
So I'm going to take my mascara and I'm going to just do my lower lash line here just to make sure everything is nice and together. I'm going to wear some lashes that I got from Shop Miss A. These are the 702 lashes my mom put me on. They were only a dollar, girl. We'll do the remainder of the face while these dry. So I'm going to lightly, lightly contour. This is what I'm using. It is powder. It's the Pure Sculpture Palette. I got this in a boxy charm. I'm going to take the lightest brown. And I also like to bring it on my jawline. And I got this tip from It's My Ray Ray. So this is a brush that I'm using. I like to squeeze it like this to make it nice and flat. Then I just dip it in a little bit of powder. Like I lightly, I get my nose. I do a little contour, a, a light nose contour. And then I go in on my nose. Like that. So now I wanna take one of my most favorite blushes right now. This is by Note. This is Desert Rose. And girl, this is such a flattering shade. It looks amazing. So I love using this brush. This is the blush brush from Thrive's Cosmetics. And I just love using this brush. I feel like it has a really nice, soft application. It just looks so good. You can still get a glam look with it, but some things I feel like even if you're doing glam, they should look natural, you know? So there goes the blush, and you see how it just kind of warmed everything up? It doesn't look bad at all. It looks very natural. So now this is the brush that I love to use to highlight, and we're going to use Artist Couture and Jackie Ina's La Peach. This is my favorite highlighter. And I just highlight my cheekbones, my nose, and my upper lip. I'm also going to get up here under my brow bone. Oh, I did a bit much there. Oops. <laughs> so for my lip, I'm going to be using my Minted Cosmetics Capsule Lipstick in the shade Dark Night. And I'm just gonna use it to line the outside of my lips. Now I love this color. I love the Minted Collection all together. I think it's so bomb. And now I'm going to take my Lime Crime Wet Cherry Gloss in the shade Tangy Cherry. And I'm just gonna put that on the middle section of my lips. This is one of my favorite lip combinations. I love Lime Crime Lip Glosses because they're not sticky. Now that we've got the lips on, I'm going to take my mascara and just blend in my lashes with my falsies. We're going to do one final spray with this Urban Decay Setting Spray. And for the finishing touch, I'm going to take La Peach and I'm going to put it in my inner corner just a little bit because it's going to bring a little bit more brightness to my eyes. Alright you guys, and this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup and motivation video. So the main thing that I want you to take from this video is the prayer. I feel like the prayer can be something that helps you through your anger, through your mistrust, through your bitterness, through self-protection, through fear, through all things that try to rise up against you from your flesh to keep you from walking in God's will and God's calling for your life. So I have this prayer right here typed out in the description box and it's also pinned in the top comment right now I'm gonna go ahead and say it along with you and I just want you to feel what it's like to say it for me it was very awkward the very first time that I said it out loud but God is faithful and through that awkwardness through that feeling of just I don't know if this is working God was able to show me that he's going to fulfill his word no matter how I feel. He's continually working in us, bringing all things together to work for our good. So this prayer definitely can help you anytime you feel any of these emotions or feelings. You can pray this and it will instantly give God room to work. So let's go ahead and say it together. I speak to mistrust, unforgiveness, anger, disappointment, fear, and self-protection. I say, I renounce any agreement with you. Be removed and cast into the sea. 
I thank you, Lord, that I'm forgiven and I choose to love others as you love them. I pray that you guys all have a wonderful week. I hope to see you in my next makeup and motivation video. Your girl is here to stay, okay? This is what God has called me to do, so I'ma do it. No excuses, no nothing. Definitely keep me lifted in prayer if you're a praying person. I'll be praying for you as well. And until next time, stay blessed.